We're very happy with the fact that both in the fourth quarter of 2012, which just ended, and for the whole year of 2012, we were able to post underlying profitability for the Nokia Group, which we think is a major accomplishment. And indeed, the board is going to make the recommendation that we don't pay a dividend this year, but that combined with the cash generation that we were able to, to produce in Q4 clearly takes away the cloud of liquidity concerns over Nokia. Well, for more on the bold move, I am joined by Alex Steele. And Alex, why this drastic switch at Nokia? Well, Betty, through two world wars, the breakup of the Soviet Union, and all the subsequent recessions and disasters in between, Nokia stood by its payout. Here's what changed. Apple and Google. Although Nokia might have a 19% market share of all phones shipped in the third quarter, it is in second to last place when it comes to smartphones, which with just 3% of market share. Nokia has just been crushed by the competition. Apple and Samsung, which runs on Google's Android system. And just five years ago, Nokia had a lock on over half of the industry. And suspending the dividend is really Nokia's attempt to turn things around. The company reported its first net income in seven quarters and an increase in net cash. Nokia desperately trying to recoup almost $7 billion in losses since early 2011. And Betty, the dividend cut is saving the company 750 million euros. Well, they're, they're helping their cash position, but what are they doing in terms of improving phone sales? Really taking an ax to the business to really turn it around, cutting over 20,000 jobs, closing production and research facilities, selling patents, and making a big bet on its Lumia smartphone. Sales last quarter hit 4.4 million, but still a far cry from Apple's 47 million. And keep in mind, Nokia has lost more than 80 percent of its market value since the iPhone hit center stage five years ago. Its debt is now ranked below investment grade. But the company does have a history of changing with the times. It actually started as a wood, pulp, and paper company back in 1865, and now it makes phones. As the CEO says, that dividend cut plus its positive fourth quarter takes away the cloud of liquidity concerns. One step forward for this company, Betty. It's a long way from wood pulp. Long way indeed. <laughs>